G'day everyone and welcome back. Today I'm uh, back out at Lake Hume and I thought I'd do a little quick video on my boat. So you would have seen it in quite a few of my videos um, all over uh, sort of outback New South Wales and uh, Victoria. So I thought, well, why not uh, give a quick little rundown on the little tinny. Before we get started, let's have a look at a few of the places this little tinny has been. The boat is a Quintrex 385 Explorer. Um, it's 20 years old on the third owner. So the uh, first owner had most of the work done to it and um, I've just added to it uh, over the years since I've had it. So I've had it for approximately about 12 years. So it sits on an easy tow trailer and uh, the only issues we've had with a trailer was a broken spring um, early this year in in Burke. It's a very stable boat, and um, for the rivers and um, beautiful days on the lakes, it's ideal. So let's go through some of the uh, modifications I've done. So when I purchased my uh, Minn Kota, um, I had this bracket welded onto. The front of the boat to accommodate that so that was done by Kyle Dalrymple over in Corowa and um, all the people that have done work on this boat what I'll do I'll put a, um, a link or a phone number to their business uh, in the description so if you need any work done you can contact them so um, and I've paid for everything on this boat no I haven't got any freebies I'm just giving these people a plug because they've done a good job so as I said Carl's put this um, plate on the front so I can mount the Minn Kota and he also mounted the bracket on the front for the LED spotlight so that's handy if um, in the rivers or creeks but it's not much use out in the, the middle of the lake at night because it actually the light needs something to bounce off and it's virtually next to useless in the middle middle of the lake but uh, as I said I find it very useful coming back into boat ramps or along creeks and that sort of thing. So there's the Mincator. So the Mincator sits up there and it's uh, powered by a couple of the 100 amp hour batteries that sit up the front here and plugs in with an Anderson plug there. So up the front to power the uh, Minn Kota. I've got two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries up the front. Um, now a couple of people said to me that's a bit of overkill for that motor but I look at it as my spare wheel so if my main motor does um, decide not to start for me at uh, any stage I've still got the electric to hopefully bring me home or get me back to a place where I can be uh, suitably rescued. So. Also up the front we have a little kitchen, so a stove and a couple of pots and things like that there. And then over here is where we keep the life jacket. So there's plenty, plenty of storage underneath. So also we've got underfloor storage here for bits and pieces. 
So there's plenty, plenty of storage here. And also I've installed a 38 litre angle fridge. And that runs off uh, another battery down the back, which I'll show you. So the other battery I've got is another 100 amp hour battery in the back of the boat. So this runs the fridge, uh, the interior lighting, the um, light bar up the front and my navigation lights and also charges uh, the phones and runs the Bluetooth speaker. So I've had it all kitted up so it's all fused and there's an isolation switch there. So that was all done by um, Archon Auto Electrics in Wodonga and they've done an absolute magnificent job. Um, if you'd seen what it was like when I, I was running wires, um, it wasn't uh, very pretty. But uh, they've done it all nice and neat. And as I said, it's all fused. Um, also runs the bilge pump um, up the back here. So I'm very happy with that. And just on the other side, we've got the fuel tank, which runs the newest addition to the boat. And that's the four stroke, 25 horsepower Mercury outboard. Um, this is a big upgrade from the uh, two stroke um, 25 I had on the back and um, it's just uh, so much more user friendly power tilt electric start and I'm very very happy with it gets up on the plane very very quickly and punches along about 20 uh, sorry 40 45 kilometers an hour so I'm pretty happy with that one of the other things I've installed is just a little uh, tackle tray and that's that's I just got that from Bunnings uh, and that's just nice and handy to keep some spare hooks and some spare lures in and uh, tucks it all out of the way. And I've had that for probably four, maybe five years, just sitting out in the elements. Um, but uh, it, it certainly does the job and it wasn't expensive at all. And the sounder I'm running is a Lowrance Hook 5. Uh, it's not a bad little unit. Um, obviously there's a lot better ones on the market, but for what I do, this does the job perfectly. So another little addition I've put on um, the boat just to make things a bit easier when traveling. So the Minn Kota sits on uh, a little second base plate that I've bought and uh, it snugs in there nicely and the motor doesn't move around and uh, it's all under cover uh, when I'm traveling. So uh, it's uh, sort of a bit of a safety feature as well, as well as being a little bit practical. And that's how the electric's stored when we're traveling. Something I find that's uh, nice to have is the EPIRB. So Places like Dartmouth and Eildon, where you can get into some really remote wilderness areas in some of the bays. Um, it's just a bit of a safety precaution, a little bit of peace of mind um, if anything does happen. But uh, that swaps between the boat and the car, depending on what I'm doing. Being a smaller boat, the 385 is an easy boat to launch and retrieve by yourself. The cover I had made is a custom cover from Universal Upholstery in Wodonga and I'll put the details down as I said in the description. Another little mod I had done was a lead that's connected to an Anderson plug to the car that goes into two uh, charging Anderson plugs on the boat. This keeps the batteries topped up as you're driving along and you can use the uh, 38 litre angle as a freezer which is really handy on long trips. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give us a like. If you've liked this video, please leave a comment below. Um, let us know what kind of mods you've done to your boat and if there's anything you think that I need to put on mine, just whack it in the comments. In case you're wondering where the name of the boat came from, it's dedicated to my old blue heeler Smoko, who we had for 10 years.